excuse me. So today we're gonna take a look at Damn Toys Golden Dog Death Gas Station series from Cold Dog. Um, this gas station series is really weird. Um, it's very rustic, very kind of post-apocalyptic style, very uh, artistic as well. And if you guys haven't seen the gas station series, you uh, you really should take a look at them because if you like robots, rustic stuff, I mean, they're akin to 3A style. Very, very weathered, very, very dirty. And yeah, this these creators or this art, cold dog, art company, they do a lot of cool stuff. And they partnered up with Damn Toys, I think. It's a partnership between the two, between artist and distributor. And yeah. I got this guy, of course, at a whim. Um, I have no idea who he is. <laughs> I don't know the story of this particular character. Apparently, he's like an anthropomorphic dog or something. Dog gangster. If you could see the picture is here. Um, yeah. I, tried, I really tried to look for information about this guy, but it's either in Cantonese, Mandarin, or Korean. So I don't really know, or Japanese. So I don't really know the full story of this particular character, what he is in this universe, what he does, and what this gas station series is. Is it like, do they meet up at a gas station and have their own adventures? <laughs> so, that being said, let's take a look at this boy. So here's the golden dog himself. I uh, don't really know why he's called golden. I mean, you, you could see the name on his jacket, it's golden, but there's not really a lot of gold on him. You could see he's golden. Maybe that's the name of his company or his <laughs> company. I guess the name of his gang or something, who knows. I mean, if you guys know the story for this guy or the gas station series, please let me know in the comments because I would really like to know. Do, do, do. And yeah, he's a, he's a 112 scale figure. He's pretty small. He's like your 112 scale 3A figure, really. And he does pair well with them. Uh, he has nice articulation, pretty standard. It bends, everything's nicely firm, tight. And yeah, this is him. It's a very, very odd figure. Why I got him? Because I'm trying to collect more of the gas station series and more of the gas station type series from damn toys i'm trying to i don't know build up a collection because their stuff is really cool if you guys take a look at i don't know online their gas station from damn toys and all that they have this very very unique look to them and they're pretty underground i don't know if they are underground but not a whole lot is being said about their stuff, unfortunately. I mean, for this guy alone, there's not... I think I only came across one review for him. And... I think it was in Chinese, Mandarin, oops, or Cantonese. So, goes to show that these guys aren't very well known. So, let's take a closer look at this face. Is it focusing? Yeah. So, he does have... No standard articulation and he does open his mouth like that so he's like a very South Park kind of <laughs> mouth articulation and his jacket and all is pretty you know dirty very well made actually it's very sturdy I don't think this will rip at all or wither away this is very like canvas maybe it's like very thin canvas See his glove hands, shoes, yeah, Park, I guess this is the artist's name or something, because if I read correctly in the information about this company, um, Cold Dog, one of the names is Park, I could be wrong, because again, I use Google Translate and you know how reliable those are. So this is him, very, very unique figure, very, um, how do you say out of my scope of expertise <laughs> but this guy does pair well with the 112 scale 3a figures i have and i just wanted to add some you know some whimsy in the collection and he does come with a lot of how do you say accessories so let's take a look at them shall we yeah dog gun gun 
Gun effect. Another gun effect. Headshot effect. Hot dog. Dog tags. Weesh. Hand, 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 hand. And here's all the junk this golden dog comes with. So, uh, let's take a look at the weird dog. <laughs> so this is the, I guess the dog he comes with, but he has like a, a human head. Um, yeah, so that's a thing. It is articulated. I mean, these little thingies, his hands and I guess hands, paws, whatever, they do articulate, but they are pretty stiff. So be careful when you're trying to articulate it. Um, this really looks like a Neil Gaiman type of <laughs> creature. If you guys know Neil Gaiman's work or have seen the movie Mirror Mask, this really, that really looks like one of their creatures. So this is the human head dog thing, very nicely painted, very uniquely painted really. It has that um, odd brush stroke, like as if it's made of wood or something. Very nice. Now you can, um, how do you say, pop this out and put the dog head on him and put this on the the body to switch them out but I don't really know why you would want to the option is there but I still don't know the story of the <laughs> the relationship between this thing and the golden dog so yeah so this is him one final close-up look as you can see he has very nice brush strokes very stylized it's not so flat but not so over detailed either yeah, it's a, it's a, little, a little human dog thing for you. Stuff of your nightmares, really. So, that's the dog. Put him here. Do, do, do. Next, we have... Let's take a look at his golden... Golden handguns, if you will. So, they are painted very nicely. It's, it's very vibrant gold. It's very reflective gold. It's not your flat base colored or painted gold. It, it does shine. So that has that going for it, but it's not like pristine gold, you know, this is like used gold Used gold like weathered gold really if I could catch that if the lighting yeah, so it is reflective in a way um, It doesn't articulate the the What do you call it? I don't know if this is called the receiver or whatever. This does not pull back but it does accommodate two effects so i'm just going to show you one because no point showing two so this does plug in let's see if i can get on camera yeah yeah so it does plug in and has a very comic-esque looking effect uh, again be careful this is very thin and it will break <laughs> so when you're sticking this on make sure you don't fudge about but yeah, that looks pretty cool, you know? I'm gonna stick these things on these guns for sure. Don't know if... I'm using a different format for this review because it's a very small figure. So I hope it's coming across okay. So yeah, this is his guns and his gun effects. Put you guys here. Oop. And he has dog tags. Um, there's nothing really on these dog tags, just a plastic. Um, from what I've read from blogs or reviews of this guy, there is a gold variant of this, like a super rare one. I mean, if you guys know, you can correct me, but there's a gold version of this, and they only put these on limited amounts, so if you, it's like a lottery. If you got it, you got it. If you don't, well, boo-hoo. <laughs> and of course, he does come with a hot dog, staying true with the dog theme got a dog tag and a hot dog and you can see he's got some mayonnaise and ketchup with his this is absolutely disgusting i don't know who the hell puts mayonnaise with ketchup together that is an unholy marriage of flavors but he holds it quite well now this is a if you saw in the box this is like a burst effect of his brains because he's shooting himself in the head um, I'll show you guys how to stick this in. It is really, 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 really finicky. <laughs> but it is true to form of very comic-esque style. If you, could, if you guys could see that. Because on my, my viewfinder, my screen here, it looks clear. But 
whenever I edit these videos, it's always like blurry. Or maybe my eyesight is going. And of course, with the dog, you got the dog collar. Now this is of course for that guy over there. Um, I haven't tried to put it on him yet because I just opened him. Uh, this is a plasticky, uh, plasticky, plasticky material. It's not pleather at all. I don't think it is pleather. It doesn't have that flexibility of pleather. It, it's more plasticky, but I could be wrong again. It does have some functionality, but I would really caution you guys not to fudge about with this thing too much over time. It looks like this thing will deteriorate. And he has a little rope handle thing. So you guys can see. Yeah. So this is his little leash. Leashy leash. And finally we come with the hands. Now these are the open hands that comes with the figure. Do -do -do. Very, very... Um, I forgot to tell you that these two hands are different colors. I don't know if that's on purpose or what. But one is more pinky pinky pinker than the other one so it makes me believe is this guy like built out of different body parts or something like a frankenstein kind of thing so this is the hands that come from the packaging so he has the pegs but yeah it's very dirty very well nicely made so these are the relaxed open hands and then you have the gun wielding hands same detail really dirty very very cubic cubic fingers cubesque fingers so you could hold the hot dog or the guns with these hands and of course every figure must have a fist hand oh wait this isn't fist hands i thought these were fist hands so what do these hold exactly i don't really know what these hold because it's as you can see it's a closed fist with a hole in it I don't really know. I guess you could put the leash through it. I guess it's for the leash. So it's pretty weird because you can't put the gun or any or the hot dog in it. So yeah, these are his, I guess, leash hands. Or if you will, it could be fist hands, you know. Depends how you angle it. So yeah, these are the things he comes with. Now he does come with a, some tidbits as well. If I could frame it properly. He does come with a sticker. A sticky stick which is cool I'm not gonna stick this anywhere I think I'm gonna frame this or something I'll put it somewhere where it won't get damaged so it does come with that and it does come with a little comic oh I can't really frame it so this is like a comic yeah see park and zo so I guess this, these are the artist so that's why the under the shoe has park I'm just gonna show like really quickly these things because there's not even if you read it I don't think you'll understand it. it it's like um, little bits of a main of a main storyline. So I don't know if this will come across. Oh, the back is empty. That's weird. So it's just really one-sided. Okay, I'll do a slow, slow esque. I don't know if this will pick up. So we got the dog. Oh, so the dog is the head of that animal. And then he came across a head that he peed on, I guess. And then I guess something happened. <laughs> so yeah, that's that's the end of the comic. Oh, this is like a tease, I think, for the Elvis robot um other gas stations figure i have that on pre-order already so it's gonna come in so i'll review that when it comes in so there's a little small uh intro for this character i guess it doesn't really make sense to me but if you guys know the story please let me know because i'm really interested about this death station death gas station series and this is number three i think so this is the third one there are two others. I really missed out on those. There's like two robots, I think, two repair guys. One has a motorcycle helmet and one is a mechanic, if you could see in these pictures. So, and it comes with a little um, Ziploc bag thing to store all your little bitty bits here, but I'm not gonna use this at all. I'm just gonna stick these things in the box and be done with it because if, if you guys stick your um, 
pro tip i guess for me do not stick any loose items extra hands heads um weapons in a ziploc bag because they will rub together and the paint will run, run off the best thing you can do with loose things loose items extra accessories is you just put them back in the box because they won't rub on anything if you guys put these things in a box sorry in a ziploc like this they will bunch up and they'll start rubbing with each other with friction and the paint will run and it will stain and it will break so although i get what they're trying to do i mean i think figure arts does the same thing they give you a plastic bag but i advise not to put anything inside plastic bags just put them back in the box they came in because they have compartments for these accessories so there's really no point in bunching them up together and make and destroying them so with that little pro tip let's take a look at these things on the cold the golden dog and here's the golden dog all kitted up with all his junk well there's not really a lot of junk it's just his necklace his gun and i guess the dog is an accessory so yeah pretty weird figure <laughs> Um, I really like the style of this guy, I really do, it's just very unique, very artistic as well, something I'm, I'm aiming for nowadays. I'm not looking for mass produced stuff, I'm more looking at, into the more obscure stuff. So this is him, I kind of stuck his gun on his butt there, You could. that's an option if you wish to do that. Now um, there is a peg hole in his skull here where the how do you say the head the headshot effect would go and this is pretty scary for me because when i first did it this i lost grip of that piece and i had to spend the whole day looking for it so uh, let's see if i can get on camera you just have to pick this little stub yeah if you could see that little stub it pops right out and you could stick this blast effect thing in his head again um of course be careful take your time don't just dump it in there and there we go He's like, ah. so yeah it's like a blast effect like he got headshotted or something which is which is really nice I'm, i think i'm gonna stick it like this because i like to use all the parts this guy comes with i don't, I don't want to leave too much in the box so yeah, this is him. This is the golden dog. Let's see if I could position him in a more like headshotty type of thing. Uh, I don't know why he would do this to him, I guess. Well, if you saw in the comic, this is actually a dog. And I guess he like, what am I kind of thing and wants to kill himself. But uh, another thing is these pegs are kind of loosey-goosey and you really have to put some elbow grease into them And yeah, I guess you could put it like that And have his like he's have his head shot off or something because he's like what am I? Kind of thing. So yeah This is the golden dog and maybe let's take a look at him with the other head sculpt, I guess So I don't think I'll cut. I'll just you little bastard. Okay. Do -do -do. Let's just do this quick and dirty. It's a very easy, not easy, just don't need to cut. There we go. And this is him with a weird, really fucking weird looking head, man. This is what the hell am I looking at here? So this is the other um, head sculpt accessory, if you will, if you choose to stick this guy with this head sculpt. But I don't know, man. That looks super weird to me. Like that's that's too weird for me. Um, I don't know if that's your thing. If this if this look does it for you, then okay. But I'd stick with the dog because it's more unique that way, and it's more weirder to have a human head on a dog than a dog head on. The dog body if you want to take a look at the dog with the dog body why not okay there you go it, it, it's still it's still a new figure so there's you need to have some strength <laughs> in putting these things together and yeah that's the dog with the dog head um 
if you guys are so inclined to take a look at what that looks like. Um, yeah, don't no opinions on this, but this is actually how it, this thing looks like in the comic. But I don't know why his skin tone is different from his body. So I, I, I don't know this comic or this universe too well. It seems like everybody's made up of different parts, like robotic parts and organic parts to make a character. So yeah, this, this is him. This is the golden dog from the death, the death, the death gas station series from Damn Toys. And Cold Dog, if you will. So, oof. I guess I'd stick this guy in the shelf. And here is where the golden dog will stand, sit, be displayed. And as you can see, he does pair very well with um, 3A figures. I mean, he does match well. And yeah, very glad I got him. Um, he's a pretty pricey figure, but he, he's pricey because he's a limited number and, you know, he's an artist figure. So you get what you pay for, truthfully. I'm glad with the pricing of this guy. Yeah, look at that, look at that weird dog thing. So hopefully I've <laughs> reviewed this guy properly because he's because I wasn't um, really in the reviewing mood today, but I guess I made it happen. And I got this guy yesterday, and I said, "Why not?" So this is him. If you guys are on the fence about getting him, I suggest you don't because once these guys are gone, they're gone, and the aftermarket prices are insane for these things. The gas station stuff. Because the first two that came out, their price rose up so fast. It rivals that of Hot Toys on the secondary market. So yeah, this is the Golden Dog from Damn Toys and Cold Dog. So hopefully I was helpful in reviewing this guy. Because there's not a whole lot of reviews concerning death gas station figures. At least not a lot in English. And yeah, so thanks for watching. And as always, I guess, go get them.